Orozco with the Okmulgee News Network. I'm here at the Okmulgee Fire Department. I'm here with newly appointed Fire Chief Bruce Swearingen. Bruce, congratulations on your appointment and uh, tell us what it takes to be a Fire Chief. Well, thank you, Paul. And, uh, and you know, mainly all I can, the best thing I can say is what makes it easy to be the Fire Chief is uh, having a bunch of good quality firefighters that, that work here at the Okmulgee Fire Department. I've got a bunch of guys that are really dedicated. They uh, train hard, they work hard. They uh, you know, they give up their time to uh, work on this on this fire equipment when it needs to be done, and uh, I just can't say enough about that. When you get a call for a fire, what's the average time time you get when you get to the fire? We uh, we like to be able to respond inside the city limits uh, within three minutes. And uh, training you've done, you've done some uh, recent training. Right, we uh, we just got back from Tahlequah on the Illinois River. There was four from the department went over and. Uh, Took a uh, swift water rescue training. Uh, a lot of it was it was a really good training. It was 16 hours. Uh, got in the river. The river was running real hard, so we got some good experience and we're ready to respond if uh, we need to. Now, when you're responding to a fire, what's your assess? Do you make a quick assessment as to what's going on? Uh, people, damage, so that you can tell your uh, people. Right. Just uh, as soon as we as we get on scene, we try and do a uh, on scene analysis and uh, try and figure out what we need, what's you know what we may need. Uh, let the uh, the fire trucks that are coming in as second arriving units uh, give them an idea if they have to catch a hydrant. Kind of you know if there's a smoke showing, if there's fire showing, uh, if it looks like we're going to have to do a rescue, or if it's just going to be a just extinguish a fire or, or what the situation is. Okay, we well, thank you and uh, look forward to great many years of you serving us, you and your fellow firefighters. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Paul.